Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome, glad to have you. You know, I had an interesting question. Are there rallies on the Gulf Coast of Florida? Hey folks, got my bug slide here. Still got a few uh, bugs hanging around, but at least it's not raining anymore. Seems like we had the entire rainy season for the last six weeks. But this stuff works pretty good. Love bugs don't even want to stick. So uh, I had someone ask me something. It's actually on Facebook. Uh, do we have any rallies here on the uh, golf side? And of course we do. And uh, you know everyone is uh, everyone knows about Biketoberfest and Daytona Bike Week, but there's a few others. And uh, you know I've done videos on them before. I'll show you a few sneak peeks. Um, but they're smaller, except for Thunder Beach, which you guys know I'm not a huge fan of. Um, it's okay. Get something to drink. It's okay. I, I like the town that the wife and I stay in more than I like the rally, actually. And that town is Apalachicola. And uh, there's a bed and breakfast there. I think it was built in 1850 or something, 1860. But the whole town of Apalachicola looks like something right out of the 1800s, the whole 19th century. In fact, I think even the people dress like it. But we stayed right across from the cemetery. And I'll show you a sneak peek of that. But we have uh, Thunder Beach, which is twice twice a year. It's uh, October and April, different dates than, than Daytona, but it's still uh, fall and spring. And uh, I'm not sure what the dates are this year. Um, <clears throat> then we have uh, other ones. All up and down the coast, we have everything from uh, Gibsonton, uh, New Port Ritchie has one, and uh, I'm going to a new one, uh, October 7th, I think. It's called uh, Cody River. I've never been there, but it's up north. Um, the thing about the these rallies on this side are the towns and the things to see around it. And when I go to uh, the uh, Cody River, I'm going to stop in, because uh, my wife likes to see that too. She likes to go to Tarpon Springs. It's a cute little town. If your girlfriend, your wife is with you, it's worth stopping in. And I'll, I'll show some, some shots of that too. It's one of my wife's favorite places, just a cute little town. It's, it's a Greek town, uh, the sponge capital of the world, as they say. And, uh, yeah, the best Greek restaurants you've ever, uh, ever run across. And, uh, you know, we like the fact that, you know, we'll take a day and, and, and dick around in these little towns. Then you've got, uh, you can come down, of course, there's uh, Gibsonton, Gibtown Bike Fest. Uh, I've been there a couple of years in a row now, and I've kind of figured my way around. Uh, I have some footage of that as well, and it's uh, it's a fun little rally. One thing I do like about Gibtown is uh, they have a great bike show there, and I think I've got some footage of that from last year. Um, they have some of the most unusual bikes, um, so I, I, I kind of like that one. Although I don't spend much time there, maybe spend two or three hours there. And that's about it. Then when you come down. Uh, down to the southern part, um, Sarasota has one, 
and it's called Thunder in the Bay, not to be confused with Thunder Beach. And Thunder in the Bay, uh, it's an okay little rally, it's just a local thing. Um, I met Jared Weems there one year, uh, so they've got some bike builders uh, there, and uh, of course you're probably familiar with uh, Weems Motor Co., um, he builds great bikes. And I think he's on tour right now. He won uh, won that competition in California. Uh, I'm getting old. I can't remember those names. Uh, but he's also got a show at the uh, the Barber Museum. And he's building a bike with Blockhead right now. But you can usually catch catch him at these uh, at these little festivals. I'll put some shots up of that, too. And uh, if you're going to be down that way, you may as well go to Venice Beach. Um, Venice Beach is just a very cool place. And if you and the wife want to get away from the rally and just head on down to uh, part south, I don't think Venice Beach is more than 30 minutes south of uh, Sarasota. Uh, I think you'll like it. It's, uh, I've got a couple of shots of that, too. But it's beautiful. And uh, there's a little cafe there, and, and getting through Venice. Venice is kind of a historic little town. And then, there's two of my favorites, and they're more inland. And uh, I think Arcadia is probably one of my top three rallies to go to. It's a tiny little town, and it's another one of those historic towns. It's about that big. It's uh, got a main street. I met Shovelhead Fedge there uh, last year, who's a great guy. He's got a good channel. But um, it's just a uh, one of those rallies. There's some decent bikes there and some things to see. Um, but the people are great. I, I like it because the people are just real friendly, and we met a lot of people there last year. And then my favorite one, Leesburg. You know, Arcadia and Leesburg are kind of in the center of the state, uh, they're of course more to the Gulf side and uh, what I like about Leesburg is that the people are so friendly up there as well and the only riding roads you're going to find in Florida are going to be up near Leesburg on 40 going through the Ocala National Forest um, and I will have a little clip of the uh, National Forest and Leesburg up there it's one of my uh, absolute favorites because it's only only an hour and a half for me up there and if I wanted to I could just go up for the day but I usually spend two days there I'm getting thirsty again and then there is the it's not a rally there's a little fundraiser that uh, Shade Tree Surgeon has every year, and he does that with Burt's Harley Davidson. In fact, it happens twice a year. It happens in April and in October, and I went April last year. It's some of the most beautiful camping you ever saw. This, this piece of property, I think, is 12 acres, and it, it could be 99 degrees out, and it would just feel beautiful in there. It's all these magnolia trees. I definitely have some footage of that. It's... Uh, it's a place where you just kind of hang out and this year I'm not going to camp you know me camping and getting into the tent and the sleeping bag is more like a controlled fall I'm just not going to do that this year and I think I actually made it up there in about 50 minutes so I'm just going to take the bike up for a day and see everybody and then come back but it's usually two days and I think uh, they're going to be giving away a couple of bikes this year if you want to go to Shade Trees channel you'll, you'll find out and uh I'm pretty sure it's either that festival or the other birds that uh, Paul Sr. is building a bike for. So, and I get them confused. You know, I'm old. I get those things confused. But uh, it's definitely worth going to. So if you're actually within riding area, Georgia, Alabama, it is really worth coming down there and pitching a tent. And the people are so friendly. It's, it's really something else. And I'll go back again this year. What else is there? You know, there's, 
There's a couple more up north. Uh, I haven't been to. I can only show you the ones that I've been to. Um, I'm really looking forward to the uh, Cody River this year on October 7th. Uh, we'll see what that's like. Get Grab some footage of that. Uh, there's another one up there too. I can't remember the name of it. But uh, almost any time of year on the Gulf Coast, there's something going on. And uh, if you're just looking for a rally or just a place to go, the Gulf side is really my preferred place. I think it's much pr prettier than the Atlantic side. Um, when you go to these rallies, it's really as much about going to the towns around the rallies and seeing some of the sites. Uh, we don't have A1A here, but we've got um, roads that are go from island to island on, the, on that side. Um, and if you haven't been to Anna Maria Island, it's a really great place to go. So if you're anywhere in this area, take your girlfriend, your wife down to Anna Maria. She'll, she'll love that Longboat Key. And uh, take a ride down, you know, to, to uh, Siesta Key and uh, in Venice. Um, you won't be disappointed. But there's usually something going on. You just have to check it out. So what is there to do between Sturgis and Daytona? There's a whole lot on the uh, Gulf side. So check it out. Next time you're down here, check out one of those rallies.